Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the main feature of GrandMA 3 version 2.1, which is Partial Show Read. Partial Show Read can help you whenever you need some data, including the patch, sequences, groups, presets, or macros from another show file which you want to import in your existing show file. So whenever you programmed something in a former show file, then Partial Show Read helps you to import this in your local running show file. So let's see how we can do this. We open the menu and we go to the show creator. And in the show creator, we can find the partial show read menu at the bottom left. And partial show read itself, it's quite simple. So you have three steps which you can follow. First of all, you select the show which you want to use. So the show where you have some data which you want to bring in your existing show file. Then you have the second step where you can decide to use some fixtures from the patch. So maybe you have a floor set or whatever in your patch you want to import in your local show file. And in the third step, you can do the import with all the different objects like sequences, groups, presets, macros, a matrix, whatever you need. So let's have a look at the first step and choose our show file we want to import or we want to use for the import of some objects. We want to use the MA Start Show in this case. What you have to make sure is that the show you want to use for the import is also saved in the same software version. So in this case, both show files have to be in version 2.1. So we choose the MA Start Show and we press the button select at the bottom right. Then you have a very helpful pop-up where you can rename the show file to continue with that show file with a different name and save the actual status of the show file with the current name. But in this case, we do not want to rename this. And you can see that after some seconds, you get the second step with the patch. And then you can see here on the left-hand side, with, this is the PSR patch. So the PSR patch means the patch from the imported show file and on the right-hand side, the local running patch. And here you can decide which fixtures you want to use. You have some helpful buttons down here where you can use the PSR patch only or use your local patch only. And of course, you can merge the PSR and the local. So you can decide very clearly which fixtures you want to use. Also, you can see here in the title bar that you have the filters available, especially to guide you through a bigger patch, which you are used to from the patch in the GrandMA3 software anyway. So. What we do now is we just use the local patch. We do not want to have the PSR patch and we proceed. We get a summary of which fixtures we are using and then we are directly in the third step, which is then the import. So on the left hand side, you can again see your PSR show. So the import show and you can decide which objects you want to import to your local running show. So for example, media pools, appearances, but down here you can also find user profiles and users. We want to have a look at the data pools and in the data pools, you know, we can get all the pool objects like the sequences or the presets. So for example, we want to have some color presets from our MA Start Show. We know that there are some nice color presets we want to have in our local show. So we open up the data pools and in the default data pool, we can find the preset pools over there and the preset pools. We have the color preset pool here on the left hand side. And here in the color preset pool, we can find, for example, uh, the violet and the pink preset. And we want to have them in our existing show file. What you can see here is the two presets we selected and the destination index. The destination index says that this will be the pool object number nine and 11, which is then merged to our color presets. On the right hand side, we can see the local running pool. And if we switch from the sheet style to the pool style, we can see over there that we have here a preset nine and 11, which is free. And then we can use the violet and the pink from the start show to import it directly in here. What we have to do is just to press import and you can see violet and pink presets are in the show file. 
What you can also see now is that the two presets here are imported. They are grayed out, so you cannot select them again, which is good. And then you have a wonderful helpful button, which is here, the cleanup. And the cleanup button takes care that already imported PSR objects are removed from the list. So what you can see here now is that these presets are not available. This gives you a little bit more overview which objects you already imported and which objects are still available for an import. So you can make your way through to all of that objects here, all of the things you want to get from your PSR show file, so from the imported show file, and then import it one by one into your local running show file. You can of course also select more and then import all at once. When you're ready with that, you just can close the PSR menu and when we have a look at our color preset pool again, we can see violet and pink here, which are imported from the MA Start Show now. So have a look at the partial show read. Also have a look at the online manual and the release notes to get more information how you do a partial show read. And happy programming with that one.